Release point. It's very important to understand that you want to create maximum speed to where this impact bag is. We want maximum speed from where the ball would be to this impact bag. A lot of ladies have maximum speed back here behind the ball and they don't have enough club head speed going through. Having this imaginary target two feet in front of the ball helps a lot of things and especially helps you get this lag in your swing from the top, gets the lower body shifting, and gets that release point further forward. So if you look at Lori in these pictures, you'll see that when she gets to about where the ball would be and we get rid of everything, you can see the, the club is nowhere near past her left arm yet. Notice these pictures and there she is where the club is finally catching up. So many ladies that I work with in this picture, they're going to look like the left arm is here, the right arm is here, and the club head is already past the left arm. As you can see with Lori, as she comes into the ball, you're going to see she has this kind of a stick figure look with her arms and the club. That's the position you want to be in for maximum speed and distance, and you can certainly see her arms and hands rotate. So release, what is it? It's the straightening of the right arm, the rotation of the right arm and hand, and it's also the release and the snap in the hand and the wrist. There's a snap in the hands and the wrist in that forward swing. So if you watch me in this drill, and this certainly is, I wish my golf swing looked as good as this, but I've, I've used this yellow bag with a lot of students, and they can see how their swing is much better. You can see that you pull longer, you lag the club longer. Look at this position. Very similar to Lori there. Club is not past my left arm. Now my arms and hands are going to rotate and extend into the bag. We want maximum speed up here where the bag is. This is simply what I call the release point. You, this is where you would let go of the club if you were throw, literally going to throw it. Or if you had a ball in your right hand, you would simply be throwing that ball to that point right there. That's an athletic move to do it. My good friend Fred Shoemaker has people actually throw clubs doing this, and they see themselves in an athletic position. You can certainly see I've shifted my weight, and my head is in the same place. So very important to get this release point through the ball and not at it.